Good evening and welcome to the 2020 Lincoln Magnet School Honors Night. My name is Nicole Hyen and I have the pleasure of serving as principal here at Lincoln Magnet School. We are so excited for this evening for us to come together to celebrate, connect, and recognize the wonderful accomplishments that these students have achieved. Just because we're social distancing does not mean we're distant. The Lincoln Magnet School teachers and staff couldn't be more proud of our students, their dedication during the school year as well as through remote learning. Leopards, you have carried on that wonderful Lincoln Magnet School tradition of excellence and you've set the bar even higher. Tonight, we're excited to start our evening with a Lincoln Magnet School tradition. While we can't be in the beautiful auditorium presenting our flags, I am honored to be able to introduce the 2020 Honor Guard. These students have earned straight A's all three years at Lincoln Magnet School and we couldn't be more proud. At this time, I would like to introduce Ayla Acapo Sachivi, Madeline Beck, John Isinger, Nora Jasm, Kendall Knauer, Remy Lynn, and Mocha Masood. Congratulations again on your amazing accomplishment. This year has been filled with many wonderful heartfelt moments, many wonderful accomplishments and recognitions. And at this time, I am honored to introduce our guidance dean, Mrs. Sevner, as she begins our honors night ceremony, recognizing our honor roll students. Hi, my name is Sarah Sevener and I'm the Guidance Dean here at Lincoln Magnet School. It is my privilege today to announce our Honor Roll students who have also earned the 2020 President's Educational Award. I have a letter from the White House that I need to read. Congratulations to the recipients of the 2020 President's Education Award. Over the past year, the individuals who have earned this distinguished honor have exhibited exceptional work ethic and determination. Our nation will soon look to these future leaders for guidance, and I am confident they will continue to build a stronger and more prosperous future for our great country. The First Lady joins me in applauding the educators, administrators, parents, and other community leaders who have been there every step of the way to encourage and uplift these bright young men and women. As the talent, these talented students pursue their dreams and passions, we send our best wishes for continued success. Keep up the great work, President Donald Trump. To earn honor roll, a student must have had a GPA of a 3.0 or higher for the first three quarters of the school year. Not only do these honor roll students excel in the classroom, but many of them are involved in clubs and sports inside and outside of the building. We are so proud of their great accomplishments, their hard work, and their dedication. I am thrilled to announce the students on honor roll, high honor roll, and straight A honor roll for the 2019-2020 school year. We will now begin with our sixth grade straight A honor roll students. Isaac Alexander, Mokes Amin, Michael Anderson, Grace Anselman, Carter Beck, Rachel Becker, Clayton Bora, Chelsea DeCock, Levi Frederick, Jacob Hasquin, Logan Heimlich, Alexander Hyen, Elhana Nagash, Harrison No, Logan Peach, Mara Seelbach, Aaron Stoops. Congratulations to our straight A honor roll students. And now for our sixth grade high honor roll students. Inigo Angeles, Caden Arsamat, Caden Beach, Vincente Dema, Cassinia Durbin, Kenyon Greer, Gabriel Gumia, Parker Hines, Cameron Hoffman, Bridget Lyons. Jaden Mangold Houston, Kimberly Nguyen, Julie Parker, Andrew Robinson, Cooper Rogers, McKenna Rogers, Adriana Russell, Anna Sharp, Adeline Shaver, Colbin 
Singh, Adam Tareb, Cohen Teague, Cameron Trimmer. Congratulations to our high honor roll students. And now for our sixth grade honor roll students. Joya Austin Clark, Trevion Lakey, Fayrez Carter, Benjamin Clyburn, Dakota Coonrod, Starez Curry, Liliana Deneen, Sydney Denora Austin, Catherine Eastfold, Angeli Esqueda Laris, Brooklyn Fallon, Miley Frakes, Logan Gelfi, Logan Gill, Safina Hale, Dion Hayes, Ezra Hines, Janessa Horner, Mia Jennings, Elliot Keisner, Zoe Ludala, Carter Magallis, Darquan McKinney Burton, Luke Milliman, Cindy Kinkley, Olivia Ramirez, Anaya Reinhaus, Abigail Smith, Wyatt Smith, Shantiana Walker. Congratulations to our sixth grade honor roll. Hello, I am Mrs. Lott, Assistant Principal at Lincoln Magnet School, and I have the honor of announcing the Perfect Attendance Award recipients. Perfect Attendance is an honor because students have dedicated each and every day to coming to school on time and not missing a minute of class. I would also like to congratulate the parents of those students, making sure their kids are up, here every day, and instilling in them that good attendance leads to a good work ethic. So without further ado, please help me in congratulating our 2019-2020 Perfect Attendance Award recipients. Jaden Alexander, Michael Anderson, Grace Anselment, Benjamin Clyburn, Ksenia Durbin, Janessa Horner, Elhana Nagash, Andrew Robinson, Adriana Russell, Cohen Teague, and Destiny Ware. Congratulations. Hello, my name is Lane Zimmers, and I have the honor of teaching sixth grade world history. I'm giving the award to an outstanding sixth grader who went above and beyond in their studies. This student accepted every academic challenge and carved out new expectations for their learning. This student's schoolwork has developed into superior level after much practice throughout the school year. They even completed an exemplar teen activism iBook highlighting content from our power unit. Furthermore, this student acquired very strong leadership qualities that allowed for them to assist and guide their fellow classmates in their school endeavors. It is my greatest pleasure to present this special sixth grade world history award to Rachel Becker. Hello, I'm Ms. Stearns. I teach sixth grade literature and writing, and I'm here to present the sixth grade writing award to a student who goes above and beyond in their writing. This year's award is going to a very deserving student. He excels in both literature and writing, but as far as his writing goes, he's a natural, whether it be a narrative about going to a sketchy Dairy Queen and having the scare of his life, or a more serious topic, how do GMOs affect the body? This sixth grader holds a unique ability to select just the right words to help the reader engage, understand, and enjoy his writing. He's able to take his thinking and turn it into something we're talking about. His unique take on humor and ability to capture the appropriate tone blows me away every single time. I present the sixth grade writing award to Jacob Hasquin. Hello, my name is Pam Rotherham. I am honored to give out the sixth grade reading award. This award recognizes outstanding reading skill and effort to a very deserving student. This young lady enjoys and appreciates literature of all different kinds. When it is time to read in the class, she settles right in and stays focused. 
She is able to comprehend and share her love of reading with her classmates. No matter the group, she is always willing to help others with their reading by offering advice on what to read next and sharing her analysis of the text. In addition to her excellent reading habits, this young lady has consistently excelled all year with exemplary grades and scores on assessments. It is with great pleasure that I honor Anna Sharp for this sixth grade reading award. Hi, my name is Tony McDowell. And I'm Ashley Wonkel, and we make up the sixth grade math department. We have the privilege of announcing the sixth grade math student of the year award. This student is in the accelerated math class, which is actually a seventh grade class. He can explain math processes in a very unique and different way and shares his strategies. Understanding how math works just comes naturally to him. This student actually spent an entire Saturday at the Math Leads competition doing math for fun. Can you imagine? This year, the sixth grade math award goes to Logan Heimlich. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Mrs. Gates and I teach sixth grade science. This year, we started out learning physics by rolling tennis balls and moving fan cars. We then moved on to visit the moon and the planets, and we have ended the year learning about our environment and how all organisms interact with and depend on each other. The science student this year has excelled at all of this learning. The student shows a real interest and passion for learning, but also for helping others learn as well. The student often beats me to the door and is willing to help in any way. When I was looking for a lab assistant, the student came to mind and indeed was a responsible and diligent helper coming early to school to take care of live specimens and dwarf frogs. The sixth grade science student this year is Erin Stoops. The sixth grade technology award is presented to a student who demonstrates a thorough understanding of the technology used in all of their classes. This student always showed patience in completing the steps necessary for mastering technology. Perseverance is a trait necessary when things do not go as planned. This student was always willing to problem solve. And finally, creativity. Asking students to create new products not seen before is challenging, but this student rose to the occasion every time. This year's Technology Award goes to Logan Peach. Hi, this is Mr. Burke, physical education teacher for our Lincoln Leopards. I'm here to present our sixth grade ACE Award for students that represent great achievement in the areas of attitude, cooperation, and effort. Both of this year's winners bring a positive influence to their classes. They always participate with enthusiasm and are eager to learn each day. They do the little things that lead to big success in class. Listening, helping, sharing, working. They do it all. This year's recipients for the 6th grade ACE PE award are, for the boys, Gabe Gamilla. And for the girls, McKenna Rogers. Congratulations. Hi, I am Mr. Mitchell, and I will be announcing the 6th grade Art Student of the Year. The recipient of this award has proven not only to be a great talent, but a phenomenal representation of what we see in a leopard. This student has proven over and over that diligence and cooperation will take a person far. It was so much fun watching her at her table as she inspired those around her to do their personal best. She continued to inspire outside of the four walls of the art room. She assisted in creating many projects throughout the school. I am so excited to see how this student excels as she continues with her passion for art. She does not only have a desire for creating, but a true vision and talent. I so wish that I could have shared her outstanding artwork with others this year, but due to the quarantine, that was not possible. I'm urging her to save her art and share it next year as we move into our new normal. 
It's my honor to recognize Michael Anderson as the recipient of the 2020 Sixth Grade Art Department Award. Michael, may you have continued success. I trust you will stay in touch with me and share your work with me. I will miss you. Hello, my name is William Russell and I am the band and choir teacher at Lincoln Magnet School. The Music Award is generally given to uh, one choir student, and one band student who have proven to have a real passion for music. Uh, they participate well in class and they work great with their other classmates. And so it is my pleasure to announce that this year's recipient, uh, excuse me, Uh, this year's recipients of the Music Awards are for band, Chelsea DeCock, and for choir, Caden Beach. It is an honor and a privilege to be able to recognize our 2020 Citizenship Award winners. The students who receive this prestigious award have worked hard both in the classroom and outside of the classroom, going above and beyond to do what is necessary for themselves to be successful and also to help others have just as much success. They work hard in school and in the community to exemplify what it means to be a leopard. At this time, I look forward to recognizing our Citizenship Award winners. I would like to begin with our sixth grade Citizenship Award winners. These two students are top-notch students. Their teachers appreciate their warm, kind, caring attitude that they bring to school each and every day. They are willing to work with any student in any group and often are the first to offer help. I've had the opportunity of working almost every day with these students in Studio Crew. They come happy and ready to learn and they participate in each and every welcoming ritual. They work hard and for this reason, we have selected them as Citizenship Award winners. Congratulations to Cassinia Durbin and Caden Beach. Hello everyone, this is Tyler Mulhall with Horace Mann Insurance. I'm with Katie Hagman's local office. Just wanted to take a moment to show our appreciation for everything you guys are doing. I know with e-learning and everything going on, you guys are making a lot of sacrifices to make this transition as smooth and as easy as possible on everybody else around you. So we just wanna recognize that. We do have a few awards to give away today, which I will be hand delivering at a later date. The first award is called the Mugs and Kisses Award. The Mugs and Kisses Award is given to a non-teaching staff member. And uh, we just want to recognize you for your hard work and dedication throughout the school year. Uh, this year, the Mugs and Kisses Award is going to Valerie Rogers. Valerie, congratulations and thank you for everything that you're doing. The second award is called the Crystal Apple Award. The Crystal Apple Award is given to a teacher. Um, and this year, it's a little bit more special. The Crystal Apple Award is going to Bob Mitchell. So Bob Mitchell, congratulations on the Crystal Apple Award. Congratulations on your retirement. I hope you enjoy the downtime, sir. Thank you so much for your, all of your years of service and the impact that you've had on everyone around you. Each year, as this evening comes to an end, it's hard to say goodbye to our eighth graders, our families, and even staff members that are moving on to the next adventure in their life. While we're excited for all the possibilities and what's to come, we can't say that it is a little emotional. Mr. Mitchell. Where do we begin? You've been an educator for many years, a team player, a leader, an art extraordinaire. How do you sum up all that you've achieved and most importantly, all that you have inspired? Thank you for joining the LMS staff. Your classes are always at capacity and your clubs are bursting at the seams. Your family has been a leopard for many years, but when you came to LMS, the art program grew by leaps and bounds. Speaking of your family, I would be remiss if I did not thank them all for their support of our program. The countless hours that they have spent mentoring LMS groups, leading clubs, matting projects, building sets, Marina and Marley, thank you so much for your amazing support. Mr. Mitchell, you and Kaylin have done so much for our school to ensure that every child that wants to participate in the arts can. From Kaylin mentoring the sixth grade art club so that a record 38 students could be involved, to facilitating cakewalks, to helping with pretty much every project imaginable. Kaylin and you were there. Your family has shared so much of their time with our school and we cannot thank you enough. Thank you for that passion you instill in others. You see the best in each and every student and you help them see the best in themselves. 
they believe in you, and in turn, they then believe in themselves. Thank you for giving our students wings. Thank you for loving our program just as much as we do. Thank you, thank you, thank you from the bottom of our heart for your hard work and dedication. You have left a lasting impression on so many. As our evening comes to a close, students and families, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade, it's not goodbye, it's just I'll see you real soon. Thank you for your continued support of Lincoln Magnet School. 